Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at why ionic compounds have high melting points. Now, before we get on to explaining the property, it's really important for you guys to know what type of bonding you've got. In the exam, they won't turn around to you and say you've got ionic bonding or metallic bonding. They will give you the name of a chemical most likely and ask you to explain why it has a high melting point, why it doesn't conduct, why it does conduct, and so on. So you've got to be able to work out what type of bonding is going on to then work out the properties to then be able to explain it. So the first really important fact to remember is that if it's ionic, it contains both a metal and a non-metal. So if I have a look at all these different examples that you could get in an exam, let's go through them. Now remember, metals are found on the left of the periodic table, non-metals are found on the right of the periodic table, with hydrogen sitting on its own as a non-metal. If we look at carbon, carbon's found here, it's a non-metal. Oxygen, it's also a non-metal, so I don't have both. So CO2 is not ionic. NaCl, sodium is found in group 1, chlorine is found in group 7, so I have a metal and a non-metal, so that's ionic. PbBr2, you can see lead down here, you can see bromine over here on the right, therefore I have ionic bonding. Fe, well straight away I've got a metal, but there's nothing else, there's no non-metals, so Fe is not ionic. Therefore, last one, MgCl2, magnesium group 2, metal, chlorine group 7, non-metal, so it's ionic. Now you can work out whether it's ionic or not, you need to remember the basic properties. All ionic compounds have a high melting point. They all do not conduct electricity when solid, but they do conduct electricity when molten. So let's get back to the point of this video. Why do ionic compounds have high melting points? So we have our anions and cations, which are our positive and negative ions. They're surrounding each other and they form an ionic lattice. Now, the thing that gives ionic compounds a high melting point is our strong electrostatic attraction between those cations and anions. That's going to get you two marks in an exam. The third and final mark is for turning around and saying that lots of energy is needed to break those bonds, to break that strong electrostatic attraction. Therefore, they have a high melting point. Right, let's see the type of question that the examiner can ask you. I've got two here. The first one being, look at the substance on the right. Identify the ionic substance. So you've got ammonia, NH3, magnesium iodide, MgI2, gallium, Ga, and diamond, C. So out of those four, which one contains a metal and a non-metal? That's your ionic compound. Question two, explain why this substance has a high melting point. So we know it's ionic, we've just worked that out. What makes something that's ionic have a high melting point? Pause the video, have a go, we'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, let's go through and see how you've done. Hopefully you realise the one that's got a metal and a non-metal in is our magnesium iodide, so that gets you the mark for that. Question two, explain why it has a high melting point. It's all to do with the ions, so we have Lots of energy needed to break the bonds. What are the bonds? That is your strong electrostatic attraction between your cation and anion, or between your ions. Either of those will get you your two marks. Onto the review question. Have a go at it. If you want to put it in the comments, I'll let you know if you're right or wrong. Copper nitrate, CuNO3-2, has a high melting point. Explain why copper nitrate has a high melting point. So, what type of bonding is it? And then what we've just talked about, why does it have a high melting point? And that's everything you need to know for this video. Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to my channel, you can check out the latest video, and you can visit my website up above here. Bye now.